let's face it we have all seen the literal incognito mode option in our browsers and wondered what's the deal is it just for secret agents or something we should all be using buckle your set belt because i'm breaking down the five most important things you need to know about incognito windows first of all what is it an incognito window also called private browsing is like a temporary clean portal for your browser when you use it your browsing history cookies and form data aren't saved once you close the window it's as if your session never happened at least on your device for example, if you search for dumb ideas in incognito mode, your browser would not remember it. So you won't get embarrassing suggestions about that later. But here's the test. It doesn't make you invisible to everyone. Your internet service provider, aka ISP, your workplace or the website you busy still can see what you're up to. Now, let's talk about the good things about it. Incognito mode isn't just a gimmick. It has some seriously practical uses like privacy on shared devices. Let's say you're using a friend's laptop or a public computer. Incognito mode ensures your browsing history and login info erased when you're done. Perfect for that kind of situations where you constantly use another's computer to watch Netflix. Avoiding targeted ads. Have you ever searched for something stupid and then been haunted by ads for that search? Incognito mode wipes cookies after you close the window. So those ads don't follow you wherever you go. Also, it allows multiple logins. If you have to log on two accounts at the same time at the same site, then it may save your day. Just open one in regular mode and the other one in incognito. Problem solved. And it is also great for developers. Developers, you know, the guys who constantly change and test codes, they love incognito mode because it shows what a website looks to a first time visitor who doesn't have any cache data or save preferences. This point is also super important for some guys and it is planning surprises. We all make surprise plans and we want to make sure no one knows anything about it. And this is the right use case for incognito windows because it removes all the history of your browsing on your machine. Let's talk about some of the things that you also have to keep in mind and that is it is not truly anonymous. It doesn't make you invisible to everyone. Your internet service provider aka ISP, your workplace or the website you busy can still track your activity. Incognito mode only hides your browsing history from other users on your device. No protection from malware also. It doesn't shield you from malicious websites or downloads. Clicking on a bad link in incognito just as dangerous as in regular browsing. Also bookmarks and downloads stay. If you download a file or bookmark a page in incognito, it doesn't disappear when you close the window. It stays on your device until you delete it. And there is also another catch and it is overhyped privacy. People often think incognito mode hides everything which is not true. And therefore this overhyped thinking leads them to risky behavior. Remember, it's a privacy tool, not a magic cloak. And now the original question of the day. Is it actually safe what it sounds? Not really. Yes, it keeps your browsing private on your device. If you're shopping for a gift, searching sensitive topics, no one using the same device will see your activity. But it doesn't protect you from online tracking by websites or your ISP. For real online privacy, you'd need tools like a VPN or encrypted browsers. Think of it like locking your bedroom door, not the whole house. It protects your space, but anyone outside can still see the house. I also use this all the time because when I do work and want to watch some tech videos without messing my all work i open a new incognito tab by the way it is command shift n on mac and control shift n on windows so i open a new tab and finish watching a tech video a bunch of tech videos more tech videos a lot of tech videos and then watch on the clock remembering when i have to finish my work and understood that i have only one hour left to do the rest of the works <laughs> So my final thoughts are, there are plenty of everyday scenarios where incognito mode can save the day. You can browse in public or borrow at computers without leaving any trail on that machine. You can bypass the paywalls on some websites that limit the services by the cookies. You can avoid the ads that are personalized from your browsing history and also can have a good unbiased search results in search engines. You can also do researches without distraction because the incognito window don't show any popping out auto suggestions from your previous workaround. So you can have a clean workspace and you can log on multiple work school personal accounts at the same time and you can feel free that none of the tabs conflict with each other. So we can say the incognito mode is a fantastic tool when used correctly. Whether you want a convenience or just fresh browser session, it's good for that. Like what I do in my work. <laughs>
However, remember its limitations. It's not a clock of invisibility, just a handy way to keep your device free from your online workarounds.